If you enjoyed the channel and our video content and would like to support us, you can do this in a couple of ways. You can sign up to our Patreon site, which is a monthly subscription to one of our four tiers, each giving you something different from early access interviews up to exclusive unseen footage. There's also the option of a one-off donation via PayPal, which allows you the option to donate an amount of your choice. Both options really help to keep this channel going and to continue putting out regular content for you good folk. So please take a look at aircurrentreview.tv forward slash donate and I thank you in advance. Thank you and enjoy. So again, you probably have many here, Terry, but can you share a few stories from your time on the tornado that stick out? Um, I, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, there are so many. Coming out of the mist at uh, HMS Invincible, but oh, I'm wow. sure they thought there was nobody going to be able to attack them. Out in the North Sea somewhere, it was an exercise. Uh, again, the tornado was so good for that. Um, and I, I, I'm convinced to this day that they thought we were just you know, try to pull the wool over their eyes with our radio calls. <laughs> and then we came out of the mist at low level and, wow. uh, and flew by. Um, yeah, I, uh, on the bombing competition, I think my last, uh, the last competition sortie um, was into the Nellis Ranges to drop practice bombs. Nice. All the targets were what were called no-show. They were ge geographic points, yeah. nothing to mark them. And as we ran in, uh, I was marking a hilltop and um, what we did is we measured the, if you like, the range and bearing, to put it simply, of the hilltop from the target and the system. You mark the hilltop, the system would point at the target. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's a simple explanation. And as we ran in, Mal, my pilot, we're getting close, and he said, he said, there's something there. He said, I can't, no, but we'll keep going. And uh, as, we, as we released, we then turned and we did a, a turn, not t too far a turn, uh, and a climb. We were climbing up to uh, meet the tanker and then go back to base. And I looked over my shoulder and the point, the aiming point, was marked with a series of white sticks. They were probably about a metre high and there was smoke from our bomb right in the middle of the wow. white sticks. <laughs> and I was absolutely convinced that we got it directed and indeed we had. We, uh, we saw it a bit later. That's incredible. Uh, a few weeks later, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, no, that was really good. Um, yeah, things like that. But one of the other memories, again, uh, not that trip, but a very similar one, and it's not my memory. When you joined up with the tanker, the tanker took over the, the responsibility for navigation and timing. Uh, we were really critical on timing. And of course, the tanker, the Victor, had no kit at all. Right. Uh, we had time, I'll show you, to plus or minus one second. And the tanker took over responsibility and all the way down uh, through wherever it was we were going and the tanker, we were sitting there with my time early late, just clicking back and forth <laughs> between one early, one late. And it was a navigator in the tanker working a circular Dalton computer. Really? Yeah, to keep the timing accurate. And he wow. dropped us off at the, at the release point, uh, bang on time. Uh, absolutely phenomenal piece of airmanship from him. That's incredible. Mm. So how many hours did you get on the tornado? Oh, you? over a thousand hours on oh. the tornado. <laughs> so yeah. you a thousand hour badge in this one. <laughs> I have indeed, yeah. Yeah, I have. And I, re I really enjoyed that. And I don't recall any of it I thought were just, you know, boring holes in the sky here. Yeah. It was really great.